know who holds the future. And one of the key hopes is for the churches to not be part of the see something, say something, not fall into this misappropriation of Romans 9, but to stand up and take the moral high ground and lead from the front. That's the only thing that's going to stop this. That's the only thing where people are going to have the courage to stand up to this. If they know that there is something greater and higher than just being taken down, that's what needs to happen. That's what we need from the churches, and it remains to be seen if they're going to do that at all. Thank you. That was a very thoughtful call, Barry, in Ohio. Let's go to uh, Ian in Colorado. Ian? Hello. How are you? Doing fine. What you got? Hey, uh, I just want to touch base and say with every issue you've talked about today, I, I know about, I am, I'm on your side with it, but what the people need to know is we need boots on the ground. And what I mean by that is I need people to be delegates, and I need people to go out and caucus and be a delegate. Typically, when we say someone needs to go out and vote, it's, it's a lost cause. People feel destitute, and, and for good reason. But if somebody actually becomes, goes out in caucus and becomes a delegate, their voice will be heard. Delegates are known as super voters. Yes. You decide who gets put on the ballot, and you decide which agendas get pushed forward. I think that's great. There's the, the states that have caucuses, I was very happy with the grassroots movement and the caucuses last time. Saw that coalescing around Ron Paul, but there was a lot of sh shenanigans going on in the caucuses as well. And it appears that the GOP has, behind the scenes, been making adjustments to that. What's your take on that? Do you think they have found a way to essentially shut down caucuses in the states that do have them? They are working on it, believe mm -hmm. it or not. Uh, and that's well, why we need people to get involved now, right? We need people to get involved to stop that at this point. I want people to know when I'm talking about voting, I'm talking about being a super voter. You're going to be right. part of the uh, SEAL Team 6 or Delta Force uh, voting machine. You're not going to be a regular voter. You're going to be a super voter. I need you. I need your help. Help me help you, for God's sake. Just help me. Very good point. That's, that's really important for people who are in caucus states. Now is the time to get involved. The same Republican hierarchy leadership that's going out and courting Sheldon Adelson is also trying to shut down the caucus system. It's a much better system than the primaries. Why? Because it is so easy to rig uh, ballot voting, one-on-one -on -one ballot voting. It's much better with the caucus situations. There are so many places where they can come in and corrupt the ballot system. They can do it with illegal voters. They can do it anytime you lose custody of the, the ballots. They can do it. They can take over the voting machines very easily. They can put viruses in these electronic voting machines. We need to roll this back. We need to make it simpler. We need to have paper ballots. We need to have a constant uh, stream of monitoring and of control of these ballots. As Stalin said, it doesn't matter who casts the votes, it's who counts the votes. It's a very bad situation that we have in elections, but at the state levels, and especially at the states where there are caucuses, you can do something now. You need to get involved now. Stop them from shutting this down and get active in the next time. Thank you. It's a very good call. Let's go to uh, Dean in Florida. You had uh, something you wanted to say about the police? Yes. Uh, yes, David. How are you doing today? Doing good. What's up? Yeah. Um, well, you know, I, I, I've seen, you know, I've seen the, um, you know, the pictures and I've, I've read the stories regarding, you know, the uh, slaying of the homeless guy in the hills there in Albuquerque. And it just really made me, I was infuriated for the last day and a half. And finally, um, I'm starting to, I'm starting to cool off a little bit, but really what I think is this, I think that, um, I think that the police in Albuquerque right now, I, I think the police department, they're trying to act like the victim, you know, when, when they had the, the protesters marching through, you know, and they had all those police, you know, dressed up in their riot gear. And then they were, you know, telling people, well, they couldn't lawfully assemble after, I guess, after a certain point, you know, and they were trying to, they were trying to get the people to disperse and, you know, use the tear gas and everything. You know, they're trying to play, they're trying to play the victim right now. They're, they're not willing to admit that they're wrong. And these are evil people. Okay. The people that are, the people that are doing this, knowingly doing this, police chief, whoever, whoever's involved, even if it's the mayor of Albuquerque, it, it's just evil. And I'll tell you, you know, what's really, what, what really 
what really would have happened is had the had the protesters not dispersed, had had they you know just stayed there, and uh, the police would have. You know, the police would have called in whatever, you know, you know, maybe called in the military. Who knows? That's but, right. You know, there would have, there would have, there would have been deaths. I mean, if if people if people stand up now, what's going to happen? I mean, I, I believe in standing up. And if I had been able to be in Albuquerque, I would have been at that protest. And I think maybe, the, you know, next time people ought to think about you know, bringing some kind of a mask. Well, and it's not just Albuquerque. It's many places. We saw the officer knocking down that young lady in Arizona. And it's something that's being pushed at the state level. It's something that's being pushed by the federal government. We're going to be right back with more of your calls. Bill in Wisconsin, I want to get your take on uh, Sheldon Adelson. So hang on. We'll be right back. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites. And the truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. We the people grow cotton, we fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carding to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. It's been said, those who control the food control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. There's no reason to be sick this season with Supernatural Silver's incredible technology. You can give your immune system the support it needs to help fight off colds, flus, and other nasty pathogens that can ruin the holidays for you and those you love. Used internally or topically, Supernatural Silver is a great defense against sore throats, runny noses, sinus or ear infections, and a whole host of other illnesses. Supernatural Silver is extremely safe and a great way to protect yourself and the ones you love. No one knows what the future may bring, so be smart and plan ahead. Have Supernatural Silver in your emergency preparedness arsenal and give someone a gift that's meaningful, a gift that can change lives. Give the gift of good health this year. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER2013 for 20% off your entire order. That's SupernaturalSilver.com and like us on Facebook. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we're taking callers. I was talking earlier about uh, Sheldon Adelson. He's the casino billionaire in Las Vegas. You may remember in 2012, he had his own caucus, as many news outlets reported it. And, of course, that was going to be for Jews only, but many people crashed that caucus. There was a lot of corruption around Vegas in 2012 and the presidential caucuses there. Now, this last weekend, he had the Sheldon primary for 2016, where he has some of the front runners, uh, Chris Christie, Jeb Bush, come to him and kiss his ring, uh, basically suck up to him. 
and it remains to be seen what's going to happen with that. Uh, of course, now, Lindsey Graham is also carrying water for him, introduced a bill to stop online gambling. See, even though Sheldon Adelson gives $93 million in the last presidential election, he gets a very good return on his investment. Can you imagine how much it's worth it for him if somebody like Lindsey Graham can get online gambling shut down? Mike Rogers is leaving the House. We need to get rid of Lindsey Graham. Guys in South Carolina, he's coming up for election this next time. We've got a good Tea Party candidate there. Let's get Lindsey Graham out. I don't know if he's going to go to uh, talk radio or maybe, uh, I don't know, I could kind of see Lindsey Graham more as a, a Broadway performer type. You know, maybe we could put him in a lounge lizard <laughs> to suit or something. But somehow we got to get him out of Congress. This is a very dangerous, repulsive, corrupt individual. He needs to be taken out of office. People in South Carolina, please do your job. We got Bill in Wisconsin who wants to say something about Sheldon Adelson's primary. Go ahead. Yeah, David, uh, thank you very much for bringing up uh, Sheldon Adelstein and all of his uh, shenanigans on behalf of the Zionist movement. We're never going to have peace in the world until we you know, get to the root of some of these problems. And the big money that somebody like Adelstein wields and uh, promotes certain candidates, uh, I think not only do we need to get rid of uh, Lindsey Graham, okay, and more, more than likely he might uh, get into ballet when he <laughs> yeah. leaves office. But exactly. I'll, I'll be glad to see Mike Rogers go. Yes. I'm sick and tired of turning on uh, talk shows on Sunday and seeing Mike Rogers, as you accurately pointed out, promoting wars and the neocon agenda and the surveillance state. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it's very uh, illuminating, <clears throat> in the true sense of the word, the four candidates that went to uh, Las Vegas there to court the favor of Sheldon Adelstein. Yes. Chris Christie, Jeb Bush, okay, uh, John Kasich, and our own Scott Walker here from Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Now, he's done a few things that are decent, but for the most part, the real gut issues like Common Core and, uh, you know, uh, reducing the influence of the neocon agenda, he hasn't done anything. That's right. So, he's going to be he's going to be a new world order guy. And the thing that bothers me about this Sheldon primary is how out front and open they are about it. And that's what we see with Obama. We see the corruption there. We see the uh, auditing of the Tea Party people with the IRS and the fact that they just keep doing it. They get away with it. They're not even embarrassed about it anymore. I mean, at least Nixon tried to cover it up. At least they impeached Nixon. At least they forced him out of office. Today, they just do whatever they want. To. And that's what we're seeing here in Las Vegas. Well, that's it for today's show. Please join us again tomorrow. Alex Jones will be back at 11 Central, noon Eastern. Join us then. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today.